Ah, uh, what is going on, people? What is going on? It's your boy Ryan here. You know, you got a lot of people hyping up uh, <laughs> certain games. Phil Spencer said at E3, where he said, you know, games are just now starting. You know, two, three years, or you know, they'll be out and all that jazz. Ah, <sighs> you know, all this jazz. You know, what's crazy about this is, you know, that's cool. You know, you got games coming, but it's like, what comes out in two and three years from now? Pretty much the PlayStation Five. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you just you just spent five hundred dollars for a new console, but none that's neither here or, nor there. Let's just go ahead and get into this. The next Halo is coming to Windows Mixed Reality, not Xbox One. Now I want to shout out Randall Thor for this. He actually did the videos. I was watching this. Um, now what is this possibly going to mean for you know for Halo? What does it mean for this? Well. I'm not really going to blow this out of proportion. I'm just going to say this is probably a new project thing that they're working on as a project. But could it very well be, you know, thing, a sign of things to come? That all games are going to be, like, exclusive to, like, you know, a good amount of games are going to be exclusive to PC and not Xbox One from now on? Could this be, like, a, a sign of uh, things to come? Could it? You know, I don't want to scream doom and gloom here. I really don't. But it's like, eh. I mean, we'll see. We shall see. Only time to tell, man. Only time to tell. Not making any bold predictions. Not making any bold claims. Just going to say it how it is, man. From what we're looking at and from what uh, the market's been doing. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. And uh, I said it numerous times, man. I said it numerous times. Microsoft, man. Literally, with the snap of a finger, they can be completely PC. Everything is completely merged with PC. Every single thing. Their exclusives are, compat are compatible. Their controllers are compatible. Their network is legit joined at this point. Crossplay is officially their thing now. They just do not care about Xbox anymore. I'm telling you right now, they don't care. They do not care. What do you think is going to happen after the Xbox One, you know, X? You know, let's just say it doesn't live up to their hype. All the R&D that went to the Xbox One X. What, is, what do you think is going to happen when this hype dies down and it doesn't, you know, sell the numbers that, they, that their uh, shareholders expected to sell? Because I'm telling you right now, the shareholders expect this thing to sell past 5 million units. I'm telling you right now, it, their shareholders expect this console to sell way past 5 million. Especially when it's way behind the PlayStation 4 in like a 2 to 1 aspect in the North America. Whereas... You know, in other other countries, it's like three to one in Europe. It's two to one in J United States. It's like nineteen to one, if not twenty to one in Japan. Yeah, shareholders are expecting miracles with this console. What do you think is going to happen when uh, the the hype dies down and people are not really going to buy this console, especially five hundred dollar price tag? You guys think it's going to happen? Yeah. That's a good question, right, guys? Good question. But, you know, people don't want to talk like that. They want to claim people are salty over this. And uh, all I got to say to them is um, you make me laugh. <laughs> you make me laugh, man. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, shout out to all the new subs. Welcome to the channel. Let's go ahead and get out of here. You guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.